Czech President Miloš Zeman has been admitted to a hospital shortly after meeting Prime Minister Andrej Babis after an election in which the former was defeated by a centre-right alliance. Zeman is re receiving treatment in an intensive care unit. The hospital said that he has been admitted due to complications related to an undisclosed chronic condition. It hasn't, however, disclosed how serious the president's condition was. His hospitalization could create uncertainty at a time when he is due to lead talks about forming a new government after the election results. Miloše Zemana na mé doporučení. Důvodem hospitalizace jsou komplikace, které provázejí jeho chronické onemocnění, pro které je u nás léčen. To znamená, my přesně známe diagnózu, tím způsobem jsme schopni zacílit léčbu tak, jak má vypadat. V tuto chvíli je pacient hospitalizován na pracovišti intenzivní medicíny UVN a je v péči odborníků. Jelikož nemám souhlas pana prezidenta vám sdělit jeho diagnózu, to znamená přesně diagnózu, s čím se léčí, tak to udělat nemohu, nebo, neboť bych porušil zákon o lékařském zájemství. Chci vás ubezpečit, že prezident Zeman jako každý jiný pacient dostane patřičnou péči, kterou si vyžaduje jeho zdravotní stav. Víc vám v tuto chvíli říci nemohu. Děkuji. A Zeman was admitted to the hospital soon after meeting longtime ally Babis. Babis and uh, the party lost the election to the Together Alliance and appears to have no chance of forming a ruling majority. The election results in a blow to Zeman, but he has made it clear that he would give Babis the first attempt to form a government if uh, ANO won the most votes, which it did as an individual party. Now, he was previously admitted to a hospital in September. His office had at the time said that the president was only dehydrated and slightly exhausted. He has spent four days in the same hospital in 2019 for similar reasons. 77-year-old Zeman has trouble walking and has often been seen using a wheelchair. The Czech presidency is a largely ceremonial post, but the president has the right to choose the country's new prime minister. The president leads talks with party leaders after elections to find a majority. The Together Alliance won 27.79% of the vote, while Babis's ANO party earned 27.12%. The election results marks an end to the Czech Republic's communist era. Voters have now evicted the communists from parliament for the first time since the end of World War II. Recently, details of Babis's overseas financial dealings emerged in the Pandora Papers. He has denied any involvement. Babis has also come under fire over his government's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. He won the previous general election in 2017, but it took him nine months to put together a government. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.